All right, this video is going to show you how to use Trello to plan an event. Uh, it can work great to plan like an individual event, like a baby shower or a birthday party, or even something as complex as a wedding. If you haven't watched my orientation video, be sure to click the link in the description first and watch that before you watch this, uh, and then come back and watch this video, of course. Okay, so in Trello, I'm going to open up my, my event board. You can see that I've created a couple different lists to plan, working on, and planned. You can also say maybe something is going to be delegated in something I'm so and some things are going to be um, assigned to me me or maybe you want to say okay we're gonna delegate stuff out for a wedding between me and my sister Amy and Billy right so instead of having planned we're just gonna say you know the ones that um, the people that I'm assigning these to. So what you want to start out doing is list all of the things that you can think of that need to be planned for this event. So I need to find a caterer. I need to decide on a location. I need to book the location. I need to hire a clown. <laughs> every, every great wedding needs a clown, right? Um, you need to order a cake. You need to buy candles. You need to get a pinata. You need to get an event banner. You need to make a list of all the people that you need to invite. You need to make those invitations and actually send them. Okay. So then it's just a matter of starting to delegate this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to get the, the caterer. Um, I'm going to decide on location. I'm going to book. I'm going to book that location, right? Amy's in charge of hiring a clown. Billy's going to order the cake. He's also going to buy candles. Amy is going to get the event. Actually, no, we're going to assign the event banner to Billy, and he can get a pinata. So he's just going to go to the party store and get a bunch of this stuff. Now Amy is also going to make a list of all the people to invite, make the invitations, and invite everybody. Um, once these things are done, we can say taken care of, or maybe we want to have a done column or something like that. Okay, so once Amy hires a clown, she can say, okay, it's off my list. Uh, I found the caterer, so boom, done. That's all done. And it's, you know, then it's just a matter of going through here and everybody does what's assigned to them and all these things can be done you know if if people need to have a conversation like maybe we need to decide on a location so I need to I need to have a conversation with Amy and Billy to help decide on the location we can either have that in person and decide together or I can add them as members of this individual card so I'm going to add Amy and Billy to this and then we can start having a conversation here in the in the activity meter what do you think about Burger King <laughs> all right so I had I, I add the, uh, the activity then Billy comes back and says that's a terrible idea you, and you can see basically how this is gonna work so um, you can use this to communicate on certain items um, or you can just use it to delegate or whatever if you don't have other people that you're delegating to then we can keep this simple and just have a you know to plan a working on column and a taking care of column and everything will eventually get done and you will not forget anything. And that's how you use this to plan an event. Be sure to take a look at my other Trello videos to see other ways uh, in which you can use Trello to organize your life.